continuing with the randomly generated faction games. I am commanding Athens this time since the random number generator gave me five and my opponent wisely picked Rome. Let's see how this goes. This will be avenging the defeat that Greek Heracles had in a recent tournament picking Athens against Rome. My build is slightly different than his, than his was. I have four hop four hoplites and five swords. I believe he had more hoplites and some pikes as well. But I don't want to lose so I'm not going to mirror that build. No offense. Heracles usually picks effective builds but I thought that was a very strange choice against Rome. I'll link to the battle in the, the, in the description here. So, um, my build consists of five thorax swords, two picked hoplites, two mercenary veteran hoplites, and four citizen cavalry. And the reason why I'm chuckling is because this army just looks horribly ill-equipped to take on what Rome has brought. Because Rome has brought one, two, three, four, five, six evocati, fairly standard. Very cost effective units, just good all round. On the flanks, two Triarii, very strong units. Two Hastati, decent low tier sword infantry, and another Hastati. So three Hastati, two Triarii, six Evocati, and four Legionary cavalry. Two Auxiliary Serian Archers instead of three. So Roman builds tend to be very similar. Infantry spam, some light cavalry support, and that's about it. So I'm, I'm really glad my opponent brought these Triarii and didn't just go for more Hastati or upgrade his Legionary Cavalry into Auxiliary Cavalry because that would be a lot more difficult to deal with. Triarii are fine. They are pretty tanky units but against Athens not that important in my opinion. Much rather have more swords. Syrian archers will lose to mercenary Rhodian slingers, especially in a 3 versus 2 scenario. So I will win the skirmish fight here, I'm fairly certain of that, but I'm kind of anxious to see what comes after because, well, I do have, if you match, match up our unit unit by unit here and say that these picked hoplites are equal to Evocati just about, and these mercenary veteran hoplites are just about equal to Evocati, then these four cancel out these four units here and that leaves my remaining five thorax swords to deal with these two Evocati cohort um, two Hastati and two Triarii so not the best odds for poor thorax swords but if I'm able to use my defensive formations effectively and if I'm able to get rear charges in with the citizen cavalry I might make something work here <laughs> Sorry, still have a bit of cold. So, I'm just pushing up a little bit at the time, trying to keep everything close together because there are no units that I can use to to any. But I quite, I quite um, that I can use to do any raids or trolling. Just have citizen cavalry, and I quite like armies like these that are like neat, symmetrical. You have a defined skirmish phase at the beginning of the battle, you have an infantry infantry advance towards each, each other before... Nothing fancy, nothing like skirmishers just bouncing around the place and, and weird stuff going on. So I quite like this. He goes into defensive Testudo or attacking Testudo. I believe he's attacking Testudo, but he's using it defensively. The auxiliaries here in Archers aren't able to fire effectively because they are under these shields, so th that will probably save some of them, but it will reduce the damage potential of the unit, I guess. I have never tested this because I didn't even think somebody would try it, but there you go. So the Syrian Archers are losing heavily after being focused on by these guys, and I'm just going to keep them firing for as long as possible. I really want these auxiliary Syrian Archers to die. They can be very annoying even though they are depleted. So... Here we go, just one more volley, no, I didn't have time, I have to pull back so I don't get peeled to death. Pulling back here and the quite daunting Roman infantry line is starting its advance towards my me quite meager elite hoplite line. My guys are bracing here for the impact. I'm going to send them charging in and I don't know how important this was but I forgot to turn off formation attack on some of the units, as you'll see when they charge in here. 
So getting ready. I don't want him to be able to sneak up on me and throw his both of his Pila before the engagement starts. So I'm going to... Zero and Archer's being annoying, but they don't have any kills. So I'm just going to charge here. Charge with everything I've got in these front lines. Because now he is starting to approach Pila range and it looks like his plan is to just sneak in and throw Pila. So I'd much rather want to charge him, get the best charge, and it looks like I actually will be able to get a decent charge. Not a great charge, but a decent charge. And there you go. Getting the Avocati cohort will lose slightly on the charge, but keep in mind that these picked hoplites are almost 50% more expensive than Avocati cohort. So cost, cost effectiveness wise, this is a horrible engagement for me. My mercenary veteran hoplites are going to get absolutely murdered by this Avocati. So I really have to stop his cavalry and stop my and um, uh, conserve my slingers here. I'm going to try to destroy this last unit of auxiliary Syrian archers. I should be able to do it with these remaining three slingers. I really, really, really have to stop his cavalry. And that's the reason why I'm not committing this citizen cavalry. I want to send in my thorax swords. And I want to keep these guys near so I can counter charge any cavalry that's coming through. Here I'm able to stop both of his both of his cavalry units. Legionary cavalry is crappy cavalry. So I'm able to stop them with the citizen cavalry. My general is soloing two different units here. This unit is uh, in at a bit of a weird angle. First Astati unit going down, not getting many kills, but tanking some damage for the other guys. And over here, my Thorax Swords are doing well against Legionary Cavalry. I'm going to, after I've charged in, of course, I'm going to use ph uh, Phalanx, Hoplite, wa Hoplite Wall, or Shield Wall. I'm not using Shield Wall against Astati, because they will lose heavily to Thorax Swords. Anyway, so. Uh, neither against the start, uh, neither against Triarii, because I want to kill as many of them as possible. So the Syrian archers are wavering, and I'm not going to. The last several battles, I've taken a look at the amount of casualties uh, I sustain by friendly fire, and it's quite a lot. It's more than I thought it was. So I'm not going to keep firing into these blobs and kill my own men. Managed to defeat the Astati, and now I'm going to be able to swing around. Focusing fire on the general, hoping to take care of it, because it's going to be very important that the general isn't able to stabilize any of these fights. It's also going to be important because the general can take out my skirmishers. So here we go, the mercenary veteran hoplites are dying after only killing 42 avocati. So in order to help them a bit, I'm sending in this uh, citizen cavalry into the rear, but they're not really able to do much damage. Taking down some hit points, killing a few guys, but nothing major, they're only citizen cavalry. And the general's bodyguard is going down, throwing javelins at him with my uh, with my <laughs> thorax swords. And as I'm playing this game, I realize that I don't like the special units at all. I don't like, well, I kind of like elephants, but chariots and stuff like that, not my cup of tea. I like infantry-heavy armies, balanced armies, that have several distinct phases that require you to win a cavalry fight. I don't like all infantry spams, I don't like all kiting skirmish builds. I like good solid builds with with um, skirmishing capabilities, with some cavalry and with a solid infantry core. That's how I like to play this, play this game and that's, even though it's not the Currently, in the current meta game, it's not the most effective build you can bring. It's the build that I enjoy the most using, and the build that I enjoy the most winning with. Because in this situation, I am quite decidedly undermatched, so I have to play well. I have to get my rear charges in, I have to protect my skirmishers. Here, a unit of legionary cavalry manages to, to pull through. But I am almost out of ammunition on my Rodian Slingers. So I'm going to leave these guys here as bait. Keep firing into the unit. These are only legionary cavalry. They are not very heavy cavalry. They are medium melee cavalry. So they will stop here. And I will be able to send in my citizen cavalry to take care of them while firing at them. So those guys are out of the picture. My citizen cavalry are desperately rear charging here. They won't get many kills, but they're going to at least help a bit and do some damage. So the kills, not really increasing by a whole lot, but kills are kills. My picked up Lutes got 104 kills, not even close to being cost effective against these uh, Avocati cohorts. But um, these Avocati both destroyed my 
my picked up with Ace. So you can argue that they were up against uh, four units that were 400 more expensive than they were. Here the Avocati charging into my Thorax Swords, but haha, managed to stop the charge with my Citizen Cavalry and then counter charge. So fairly happy about that one because now although the balance of power is decidedly in my favor it's a, it's deceptively close because these Evocati cohort can keep tanking and killing forever while my thorax swords can't really do that I'm about to lose my citizen cavalry my slingers are almost out of ammunition and I'm just cycle charging for dear life here into the rear of these Evocati they are taking very few casualties well, actually, they took... Wow, they killed 11 guys on that charge, so pretty good charge on this uh, unit of Citizen Cavalry. And, of course, this would be more effective if I had some... Um, if I had some Hippeus Lancers, but then again, I, I, re I really need all my infantry just to hold the line against Rome here. So, although it would be more effective, I would have to skimp on something else, and I, I just can't see me affording to skimp on the Thorax Swords or the Hopites. Here, picked up the days, are holding on for dear life. Getting a few kills, but nothing major. <laughs> and I actually managed to push my guys out of formation by rear charging them myself. I've never... <laughs> I never really paid attention to what happens there, but maybe that wasn't the best idea. Still, I'm able to pull my thorax swords around, go for some rear charges. Citizen Cavalry doing hammer and anvil strikes for dear life. And it's going to work, this Avocati, it's going to push them over the edge. So very important to have these units for the late game. These guys have almost had enough. But over here I'm able to defeat this Avocati cohort. And my opponent conceded def defeat. So pretty happy about how that battle went. Uh, a pretty cool battle I think because our builds were somewhat similar. But the Roman infantry is just so much more cost effective. Now if you look at the kills on these guys... Uh, these guys cost 820, so, and combined they managed to kill 80 Avocati, it's just horrible. And my picked up cost 2400, so my opponent can bring almost three whole units of Avocati for two of these. Um, combined they killed one and a half units of Avocati. Now, these Avocati overall did fairly well against my mercenary veteran Hopletes. My Thorax Swords that were up against Triarii did very well, of course. And the ones who were up against Hastati did well also. Citizen Cavalry, nothing great, but decent amount of kills. Most of these kills are, or all of them actually, are on um, Cavalry and Avocati. While most of my, most of the kills here are against Skirmishers that didn't have, that has, had spent most of their ammunition. So, this type of Roman build is definitely very hard to use correctly. I think I got a bit lucky in that I had the skirmishing advantage here and could enjoy that for the remainder of the battle. And that also necessitated that my opponent tried to do something about it with, with his cavalry, which in turn killed his cavalry. Now, if my opponent had, let's say he just had three uh, mercenary Balearic Slingers, instead of these Syrian archers, it would be a lot more difficult for me to... then the skirmishers would cancel each other out, the cavalry basically cancels each other out, while he has a decisive infantry advantage. So in that case my Athens army would be in some deep shit if I didn't manage to pull some amazing moves, which I rarely do. But I managed to kill 1381, I deployed fewer men than he did, so he killed 924 of mine. And this battle, I only took about 40 casualties from friendly fire, so it's improving, definitely improving. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again on the battlefield.